Hi, in this video, I'm going to introduce you so many different different books to read to become a full stack .NET developer. You shouldn't buy or obtain all of these books, but I can give you a rough idea about good resources if you want to learn by reading books. It's obvious that you can go for courses, YouTube videos, or such things. But in this video, I'm just talking about books. Okay, let's start. Somebody might say, before coding, what should I do? I need an editor. Okay. The best editor these days is VS Code, Visual Studio Code. So, by reading this book, you will learn how to deal with editors, especially Visual Studio Code on Windows, on Linux, or Mac OS. So, this is the first step. You need to deal with code editors. So, this is the first book. Let's go for the second one. C Sharp in Nutshell. Maybe when you are watching this video, this number would be more, 13, 14, no problem. Go for the latest one. But at the same time, let me tell you, even if you read C Sharp 10, this is not end of the world. You should learn the basic. So any version, even C Sharp 7, 8 is enough. But since you have access to the latest versions, go for the latest version. No problem. This book is our Bible. So important and all of us love it. So after knowing how to deal with code editors, this is the first step. And this is a big book such a thick book. After that, or side by side, you can learn C Sharp at the same time how, how to deal with code editors because these two are not that difficult. And after taking one week, 10 days, two weeks, you can slowly, slowly start reading this book also. Or let's finish the nutshell book and then come back to this one. The priority is not that, not that important in this video. When I am talking about code editor, you might say, I know how to deal with editor. So, okay, just ignore that one. Jump to the next one. Priority is not that important. But in uh, norm normal life, if you want to deal with data structure and algorithm with C Sharp, this book is not bad. Let's go for the next one. After learning how to deal with uh, C Sharp in general, you need to know the frameworks. ASP.NET is the most famous framework to write any kind of app you like. .NET and ASP.NET are cross-platform, free, fast, and everything. You can do whatever you want. 
So this book is one of the good books that you can go for. As you can see. Oh no. Let me not to talk about anything else. Just just learn the framework. I can talk about these things later, slowly, slowly. Minimal APIs. If you know what is API, you might say, I want something small and fast without hassle, without any lawyer and issue. Okay, go for minimal APIs. Very easy. Like what you have in Python. You can create APIs without ceremony, low ceremony APIs, but these things can do anything for you. The next one. These titles, these books might have overlap. No issue. As I said, priority is not that important. If you found out some chapters in one and mutual chapters in the other, just ignore some of them. Go for the rest. I am trying to introduce, introduce you the best, but I don't say you have to read all of them page by page. No. Some of them has overlap. But this is one of the good books. Another one. This is important. This is important. I want to focus on this title. Effective.NET Memory Management. The things that you can find in this book are unique, are important. So please do not ignore this book. You can say, I want to read this one and ignore this one. No problem. But this title is totally different. Absolutely different. The other one. Clean code with C sharp. This one also is kind of important. When you want to read these books, they try to explain clean code also. But if you want to be specific, I am going to introduce you this one. Clean code with C sharp. Let's go for the other one. TDD. Test-driven development. Without testing, you cannot have killing code. So, this title also is one of the most important books that I can introduce you. Go for test-driven development. Let's go for the next one. Design patterns. Yeah. If you don't know how to deal with design patterns, you cannot write meaningful and efficient code. C sharp also is the same. So please do not try to ignore this book also, or at least something the same. Design patterns. Let's go for the next one. Slowly, slowly, we are going to deal with databases and ORMs. It's obvious that in these books also, they talked about database, ORM, especially the most famous ORM entity framework. But if you want to be professional in Entity Framework as the major ORM, go for this book. After that, in general, 
you want to write query also. So you should learn how to deal with TSQL queries. This book is for such things. SQL Server in general. I can say not bad if you go for this one and then learn how to deal with TSQL queries. So you need to know how to handle databases in SQL Server also. SQL Server is the most famous database from Microsoft. So most of the .NET developers should know SQL Server. If you want to go for later versions, new versions, no problem. But the main things are the same. This book is not bad. And after that, TSQL. Okay. SQL Server is a relational database, RDBMS. What about NoSQL? These days, every developer should know about NoSQL also. So this book also is mandatory, sorry. The number of books that you have read is too much, but no way. This one is one of the most important ones. After that, MongoDB is one of the most important uh, NoSQLs these days. So I do suggest this one also. Let me tell you something. Some of these books are dot net are not that important, difficult to deal with. You might read the entire book in two days. No need to read everything line by line. If you get the idea, the rest, especially these days with ChatGPT and these things, would be easy. I am just introducing you, you the titles. This one. If you want to optimize your queries, go for this book. You will learn how to optimize the databases. In general, if you need a book to combine all of these things together and call it software architecture, I can suggest you this book. As you can see, they try to combine everything like entity framework, design patterns, microservices, everything together. I started talking about microservices for go for this book also. This book doesn't have any relation with .NET in particular, but this book would give you some ideas. Okay, backend is done. Let's go for the front end, mobile, and web. Okay. With the things that I have introduced you so far, you could uh, do backend and such things, API, these type of things. If you want to go for front end development, front end means web, mobile, all of these things. I don't talk about uh, desktop. Desktop is a little bit old and you can do with uh, Windows 4, these things. I'm not going to talk about that. I am talking about web and mobile. Let's go. First of all, when we talk about uh, front end, you should know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, these things. You cannot ignore it. By any programming language, whatever. Once you want to deal with browser, you should go with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you are a good .NET developer, experienced one, 
you can uh, mm, turn a blind eye on JavaScript a little bit, not completely, and go for Blazor. By Blazor, you can develop mobile or web app without dealing with JavaScript that much. But HTML and CSS would remain the same. This is another book for Blazor. This is .NET Mavi book. .NET Mavi is a platform to develop mobile apps. By Mavi, you can even develop desktop also. After that, if we want to talk about machine learning, then go for this book, ML.NET, a platform from Microsoft to handle machine learning issues. Actually, if I wanted to show you more and more and more, it was possible. But even so far, it's a little bit scary. So just get the idea, hunt the titles, and do some research, find which one is uh, convenient for you, find more, go for video courses, YouTube video, and other things. But as I said, if you want to specifically go for books, this series is not bad. If you have other suggestions, if you know uh, other books, please let me know in the comments. Then every viewers would see your comments or if I find out uh, something very important, I will create another video and introduce your suggestions. Thank you so much. I hope all of you can be a good full stack.net developers or developer with one or all of these books. See you in the next videos. Bye.